Hey you guys, it's Missy Lynn and today I'm here to show you guys how to add clips to your 10 minute sew-in or if you have a U-part wig and you want to add some clips to it because you don't want to just like keep wearing it with bobby pins then I am going to show you how to do that as well as how to install the 10 minute sew-in or the U-part with the clips and that's it. In the last video that I made about the 10 minute sew-in I talked about how it definitely cuts the salon time by freaking hours like one fourth of the time sometimes if you spend four hours in the salon you might spend an hour in the salon you just might because you have to wash your hair braid it and then sew it and the sew in part only takes 10 minutes the braiding part might take like 20 minutes depending on how fast the braider braids i know that sometimes i'm so busy it's hard for me to make an appointment and still make it to my meetings and sometimes my schedule is just bunched together so I had to come up with a way that way I can install it myself at home and just be on the go so what I did I installed some clips in my unit and I'm actually wearing it now and it looks like a sew-in and I'm so happy that it gives me this result because I can do it at home and I don't have to fret about trying to get a an appointment with my stylist because I know sometimes my schedule conflicts with hers because I work full time and then I have to go to a meeting and like I literally have maybe an hour in between both to try to get my hair braided and sewn in so just to eliminate some of the hassle I'm just going to show you guys how to install the clips and how I install my unit and this works the same way if you have a u-part I just don't have the time to sit there and uh, create a u-part I just bought the u-part already made which is like the 10 minutes sew in and I can still scratch my scalp because there's little gaps in between each of the tracks I have clips on it I snap it in and I go and you can even like put it on the mannequin head you can curl it the night before and then you can pin curl it and then in the morning you just clip it in undo the pin curls and you are out the door that's how convenient it is so if you guys are interested in seeing how i installed the clips and how i installed the 10 minute sewing using the clips then stay tuned so as you can see the 10 minute sewing is a whole unit almost exactly like a u-part that you would create except that it has an advantage there are gaps in between each track which allows you to get to your scalp and your real hair to ensure that you have the nutrients and the moisture that your hair needs the unit has little tabs around the entire unit the perimeter where you would sew it down to ensure that it goes nowhere and this is exactly where i am going to place the clips and it also has elastic which makes it stretchable so it fits any size head and like I said, I'm just going to add the clips around the perimeter, one directly in the center to ensure that the unit goes nowhere. And I'm going to show you how to add these clips. Starting off, you will need five to six wig clips. And I bought this at Sally's, but you can go to any beauty hair supply store and get the wig clips. And you will also need a straight weaving needle and thread. So the first step is aligning the wig clips along the edge of the tabs and using the side tabs you will use about two wig clips. Starting underneath making sure that the hair is out of the way I'm going to pass the needle through the mesh tabs and then through the whole of the wig clips. I'm going to do the over and under method all the way through the wig clip. Now you have to be careful because you do not want to break the straight needle by trying to pass it through the holes. The holes are very tiny so you have to be careful. If you cannot get the needle through the holes then just do the, the alternate method and that would be to pass it in between the little teeth. And then just repeat the same step for the second wig clip on the side tabs. And I was telling you that if the needle does not want to go through the hole, please do not force it because it will break. Just like it did right here. <laughs> so what I'm using now is a curved needle and it is too big to go through the holes. So I have to use an alternate method and pass it in between the little teeth. So what I'm doing now is just tying a few knots to make sure that the thread does not unravel over time. You will also use the same steps to add clips to the other side tab and you can also install a wig clip to the very top in the center. 
I do not install wig clips to the bottom because I just choose to secure it with bobby pins, but by all means you can install clips at the bottom as well. So the installation part is very simple. What I'm doing is I'm parting my freshly washed and blow dried hair and I'm just making a U-shape, horseshoe shape parting in the front. And this is going to be my leave out because I'm going to rock a middle part. So I'm just using a rat tail comb to part my hair. Next I'm going to twist my hair into a ponytail and I'm going to secure it with bobby pins. You can use a wig cap if you want, but I like to scratch my scalp, so I'm not going to wear anything. <laughs> and then next, I'm just going to pin up my leave out because I'm going to install the wig. So next, taking my body wave 10 minutes sew-in unit, I am going to start installing this bad boy. It's much easier for me to start off in the center, so I'm going to lock the center wig clip in place to ensure that the wig will be even on both sides. I then move on to locking in the first wig clip on the side, and then I have to maneuver around the center wig clip by making sure that I pull it back a little, that way it's nice and taut. What I'm doing now, I'm just taking a bobby pin to add more security. You don't necessarily have to, but that's what I like to do. And now I'm locking in the second side tab wig clip and then I just do the other side the exact same way I start off with the first side tab wig clip and as you can see you just have to kind of maneuver it around and then I add a bobby pin for more security that's just what I like to do and then I go in and lock in lock down the second wig clip Okay, so now that the unit is attached at the top, I'm just taking the hair that I've left out and I'm making a middle part and I'm just going to evenly distribute the hair over the unit to make sure that the unit is covered. And then next I'm going to do a light heat pass using my mini flat iron from Numi. And this is just going to help blend my real hair with the Brazilian Body Wave unit. And lastly, I'm just going to take a few bobby pins and I'm going to place this in the back of the unit. And this is just going to ensure that, that the unit stays in place. You can add the clips if you want to. I just chose not to because I really don't like the tight feeling in the back. But by all means, go ahead and add clips if you want that more secure, tight feeling. So this is the final look. It's very easy, very simple. I have the salon look right in the comfort of my own home and at my own convenience. I love the 10 minutes so and oh my gosh, if you guys are business women, mommies, or you're just in a career field where you cannot have time off to go to a salon, I'm telling you this unit will make your life 10 times easier and you can still look very fashionable, very glamorous right in your own home. I will put a discount link down below if you guys are interested in buying a unit. Also, be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you want a hair tutorial. I'll see you guys later. Bye.